Okay. Uh, just before we join the business news segment, uh, Professor Uche Waleke, what's your thoughts on the recent development of uh, uh, the monetary policy reforms uh, being, you know, rolled out by the Central Bank of Nigeria? I, I think the decision that was taken today is uh, very much in line with the Central Bank's um, inflation targeting objective um, and of course consistent with the mandate of the of the central bank the uh, central bank thinks that um, by further tightening by you know progressing with the tight tightening cycle you know they'll be able to um, contain the stubborn elevated inflation um, as well as also um, you know moderate the exchange rate um, the bank also thinks that um, by further hiking rates it will uh, reduce the negative real interest rate in the economy uh, and thereby incentivizing uh, foreign portfolio investment you know uh, into the country so as i said earlier on that's in line with the um, uh, the core mandate of of the central bank um, however uh, it, it's also important to note that the um, or to bear in mind that only last month the central bank, the MPC of the central bank increased rates by um, MPR by as much as 400 basis points and um, also increased the cash reserve requirement for commercial banks you know to 45 45 percent. Um, if I were a member of the MPC, by the way the de decision today uh, if you read that communique it was either to hold or to, you know, continue to tighten. If I were a member of the MPC, I would have voted to, to hold the rates this time around. Um, not because I am not in support of tightening. I've just said tightening is in, is in line with the mandate of the central bank. But at least to watch the, um, how, to see how the effect of the previous rate hike, you know, um, um, has um, been impacting the economy before considering another rate hike. So I, I would have expected this, the MPC to uh, to have held rates this time, you know, not to have increased by another 200 basis points because cumulatively what we now have is 600 basis points just within one month, and I think um, you know it also has consequences for um, economic growth in particular. Okay, Prof. Uh, how long do you see the CBN tightening before uh, inflation decelerates? Now, um, you listen to this, the, the governor, the, the plan is to bring down inflation rates to 21.4% um, by the end of the year. Um, currently, as of last month, inflation came in at 31.7%. Um, you know, uh, so that tells you that uh, we are in for uh, quite, um, you know, um, some period of, um, you know, uh, tight tightening cycle. Um, I also expect that... Um, uh, you know, going by the um, signals from the bank, by May when they also meet, they are also likely to, you know, to, to, con to continue that. But as I said earlier on, it's important that in doing so, the central bank should also have an eye on, um, on growth, on the impact of that on access to credit, on the impact of what is uh, happening, um, on the tightening measures, on, um, you know, the cost of funds. Uh, so it's important to balance all this when uh, you know taking those decisions because ultimately um, the, you, you, you are likely to see you know a dip in, in real GDP growth rates in the first quarter of uh, 2024 uh, as a result of what has happened. The fact remains that inflation rate in this country today is not driven by monetary factors alone. So what the central bank is targeting, of course, money supply, um, you know, uh, volume of money in circulation, you know monetary factors but there are no monetary factors too that are driving inflation which are outside the control of the central bank so no matter how much they raise interest rates okay that's not going to solve the issue of insecurity for example that is stopping farmers from going to farms it's not going to stop the issue of rising energy costs okay electricity um, issues including the you know fiscal uh, actions on the part of the government the rising FAC and so on these are the issues that actually contributing to drive inflation not necessarily the, the the uh, money supply aspect so i want the central bank to also understand that uh, and that is also why the idea of tightening in my view should be measured should be incremental and should not be such that would um, you know have the effect of distorting you know the other variables 
that you also have in the economy. The government right now is talking about um, a renewed um, hope infrastructure fund. It's talking about ag agri fund. It's talking about consumer credit. It's talking about student loans. All of this, okay, will be impacted negatively in a high interest rate environment. I, I think this point uh, is important. I make it. And I, I was reading that communique. In that communique, the central bank is forecasting growth rates for 2023-24 at 3.33%. Uh, whereas this government is forecast doing um, 3.76%. So th that tells you again that there's a disconnect. It's one economy. I don't okay, expect prof, to see uh, the before, central bank forecast you further, know, being different prof. from that of, of the government. The two should uh, actually work together to bring about okay. macroeconomic stability. Uh, all right. Many thanks, Prof. Uh, very uh, quickly now, the FX market seems a little bit stable. How has this clearing of the verified foreign exchange backlog impacted on the market? Of course, that is one area the central bank you know, deserves a pat on the back for all the measures they have taken to bring um, confidence or restore confidence in the market, including clearing backlogs um, uh, and also including ensuring that there is improved liquidity. You can see the central bank relying on its reserves, you know, accretion to reserves, you know, has now begun to uh, sell Forex to uh, BDC. So that has uh, improved liquidity. And uh, the idea of also clearing backlogs, the idea of even the clamp down on Binance, um, you know, has had some positive impact on speculative activity, you know, in the Forex market. So on that score, um, I commend the central bank for what they have done with respect to, um, you know, bringing about stability and more confidence in the Forex market. All right. All right uh, many thanks, uh, Professor Uche.